Hello, welcome back to Blend Switchy Live. Today we're gonna take a look at this add-on called Maze by Elfnor. Okay, this add-on has recently been updated, actually just yesterday. If you go to the GitHub and then click here, you're gonna have this latest release. And you, ju you just uh, simply download the zip and you can take advantage of this add-on. Um, it creates some kind of maze, you know, like a, if you wanna make like a labyrinth and the, ma the maze can be created from any kind of uh, surface mesh and you can also uh, create like a like a 3D maze if you have objects like that, that is 3D and have only like face um, yeah it's very interesting add-on and easy to use you can I think you can also take a look at her blog uh, it's very interesting it's, it's got a lot of complex um, algorithm that you can apply in blender or you know just for study okay I have already the add-on here so mesh and a mesh version 1.2 I'm using blender 3.2 okay don't use 3.3 so I, okay let's just use this by default we have the cube maybe not the best place to start you can use grid or you can use plane or whatever primitive here however i just actually i will <laughs> recreate the cube and i will use geometry nodes because with geometry nodes you can do this procedurally and <laughs> we're gonna create grid okay simple grid make it two by two file save as elf nor maze save okay so how you use uh, the add-on actually before I goes into geometry nodes if you have any kind of grid so this is the grid um, the default grid and then we want to use the add-on it is actually hiding inside the edit mode this is the the tool maze maze mesh selection so you need to have like some kind of selections if you select all the faces for example you can go to mesh maze mesh selections and it's gonna create maze for you let's go to solid mode I use I'm tapping Z and this add-on has some options like the braiding okay with the braiding it's kind of open up a lot of space so you don't have like dead end there's this boundary thick and thin <clears throat> and known actually you can also play with the thickness of the wall I think I remember when I first used this I was actually selecting the face which is not I mean it's not wrong but you probably want to select edges you want to try to select edges but as you can see it is uh, it is working so you can play around with the braided so braided give you more open space if you have the braid at zero you're gonna have a lot of uh, dead end so it gives you some kind of puzzle that you can play around with I mean it doesn't have the target but you, at least you have some kind of maze that you can walk around like uh, like for a game level for example so I'm playing around with the this thick and thin well anyway that's a simple grid now let's get to geometry nodes we have one geometry nodes I have uh, we're gonna create a grid I'm gonna switch to wireframe so we can see the grid grid uh, like this is fine the thing with geometry nodes of course you need to apply this before this actually kind of works with the uh, the maze add-on so you you apply the modifier now we have the actual mesh so let's try again we go to edit modes let's select points this time 
and we can also use F3 and use maze. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Once again, there you go. Uh, I think the first thing you want to change maybe the the thickness of the wall of the path. Okay, we can have we can climb overlap offset with the I haven't really played around with this braid play around with the braided and random seed to have different pattern and okay there's the wall parameter offset relative okay anyway we have another maze being generated cool now so it is actually like really dependent on the on the topology right so i just turn on the wireframe what if the topology is a little bit strange like uh, if we merge this by distance look okay yeah i often do this because i like to use dual mesh this one is a little bit strange but i like it it's like a cell okay apply now we have something to work on f3 once again f3 and maze selected whoa okay it's complaining because this is okay some we have some points that's outside it doesn't like it delete those vertices try again f3 maze i have a feeling it doesn't like because it's a uh, it's not it's not quad so it doesn't like it yeah unfortunately it needs to be quad or triangle Let's try this. No, maybe, yeah. Something weird about this. How about if we try, okay, instead of grid, we're gonna try icosphere. I'm not gonna delete the nodes, just replace this. Icosphere, apply, mesh, okay, this time it works, you can randomize the seed, the seed only goes from 0 to 100, that's okay, braiding, more open or more close, somewhere in between, and randomize the seed, control over the width, of, of the wall okay so in this case it works with the icosphere so it doesn't need to be quad I'm not sure this one we can actually subdivide as well see we have nice interesting result so I'm still curious keep the boundaries Let's see. It's not quad. I mean, it should work. Yeah, maybe there's a bug. Oh, see? It's a bit, it's weird. It's kind of working, however, maybe there's a bug. But it works with uh, non quad as well so we have a couple of maze the one that i haven't tried is actually the 3d one uh elf no recommend uh, this is an example for example grid delete only faces so you only have points and edges extrude five times you have this something that looks like uh it's like a kid's playground and then run the maze mess maze add-on 
you get this result. Yeah, something that we can try maybe in the next video. For now, it's uh, I'm pretty happy with this, you know. We have a couple of example, different result. You can, okay, you can go, you can try volume. Zen volume for example okay mesh to volume however is uh, is in the blender 3.3 I'm what I wonder is actually working as well but anyway I think with with Suzanne you can you can yeah you can ma make ma maze very very quickly you need to with a proper mesh, I think, with a proper topology, you're gonna get better result. I will try, however. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, oops. You can try 3.3. And see if the volume works. So you have Suzanne. And geometry nodes, volume, mesh to volume, volume to mesh. You have this topology that's almost like a cell. Save this volume maze. We probably want to have like points inside the volume, but uh, don't worry about that for now. We have some kind of mesh. I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna try to create a maze. Install. I wonder if the add-on actually works or not. Yeah, seems to work. Go to edit mode, select all, maze, mesh selections. It's gonna do calculations. Might take a couple of, couple of seconds. Hmm. I'm using small numbers. It generates paths along the edge. Okay, this is something uh, you can actually just extrude it out. Uh, extrude along normal if I'm not wrong. Let me try using Small number. This one's still too thick. Oh well. If I'm not wrong, you can actually just invert this and then delete only edges and faces. So you're gonna end up with these lines. And then you can use geometry nodes just to convert this into curve and then curve to mesh now we have this pipe okay it's just an idea you can also use skin modifier yeah the curve is actually yeah kind of broken Maybe you want to merge. Yeah, you merge by distance, but not too much. You just want to merge the curve. Yeah, something like that. I mean, yeah, the curve, maybe we can merge the curve. Uh, yeah, it doesn't quite work, but anyway. 
use it with skin modifier I guess it, that will work but it creates the maze for you it's a I haven't explored all the 3d options but it should be interesting for you to take a look all right so give it a try it works on blender 3.2 and 3.3 as well apparently so yeah very cool add-on by Elfnor thanks again for yeah for this cool add-on Elfnor uh, so hopefully you find this useful thanks again and I'll see you next time thank you bye